As you may have heard, we are proud of pointing out every chance we get that we get to work inside 30 Rockefeller Plaza. And this time of year, of course, it's famous for the tree we keep out back. The tradition dates back to the workers who built the place during the Depression. They pooled their money, bought a tree, decorated it with cranberries, paper garland, and the occasional tin can. And the tree has come a long way since then. Inside this building, in our newsroom, just about 100 yards off the rink, we deal with serious stuff, including tragedy way too often, and the daily task of covering politics and this presidency, as we said, serious stuff. But then our concentration, as we sit there, is broken by a sound. It's very specific. It involves people cheering, and it grows to the entire crowd. And when we hear that sound, away to the window, we fly like a flash, because we know that particular noise means only one thing. Somebody just got engaged. This time of year, it happens every few minutes out there. Some folks just ad lib it and proposed right there on the plaza. Others are more clandestine. Proposals on the ice are scheduled and worked out in advance, mostly but not always by nervous young men. Using a tactic that we won't reveal, the other skaters seem to melt away, leaving one couple and then the question to be popped. And for a fee, because this is New York after all, video to be shot and official photos taken. On this fancy patch of ice in these days before Christmas, taking a knee has nothing to do with politics here and everything to do with two lives that are about to change forever and perhaps bring even more lives into the world with them. They will always remember where they were. Just the sound of it is impossible for us to forget. And in these days of so much darkness in our news, so much tumult in our public life, what happens out back is proof that, to quote a great work, love actually is all around. And we're back with more right after this.